This is the latest thriller disaster blockbuster released in 2023. It's tightly plotted and full of high-energy scenes throughout. Truly a rare gem of a film to come by in a decade. Before watching, please be sure to cover your eyes. Otherwise, all sorts of unimaginable events will occur. Without further ado, we present Bird Box Barcelona. The city before you is being swept by a mysterious force. It's hard to imagine this is the same Barcelona that countless influencers have checked in at. At this moment, a father and daughter are searching for food on the street when they suddenly hear a screeching wheel sound. For blindfolded men were passing by. Sebastian immediately calls out to them. The group stops upon hearing him, and Sebastian asks to join the team. However, the quartet isn't keen on taking him along. After all, in these apocalyptic times, it's hard to trust anyone. Seeing this, Sebastian mentions knowing where to find a generator, and they stop again. Having a generator means no more living like a primitive. They hadn't even started discussing when suddenly a sinister wind blows, scaring everyone into shivering. They must leave immediately. So the group, now including Sebastian, heads back to the camp. Only after the gate is fully closed do they remove their blindfolds, and the chalk writing on the wall behind them constantly reminds them, one must cover their eyes when leaving this gate. At night, everyone sits together, a blind old man is sharing his experiences. It turns out the city has been overtaken by an unknown terrifying entity. Just seeing them causes one to lose control of their body and die in various strange ways. To this day, no one has understood how. Then, Lazaro adds that what's truly frightening isn't these monsters but the people who can walk outside with their eyes open and still survive. These people have been bewitched by a mysterious force, aiming to ensure no survivors remain. To prevent this, Lazaro purposefully blinded himself. Late at night, for safety, everyone enters a bus to sleep, but Sebastian seems preoccupied. He sneaks out of the bus, avoiding the patrolling guards, and enters a room to retrieve car keys. Upon returning, Sebastian goes straight to the driver's seat. Liliana wakes from her sleep and, noticing someone acting suspiciously at the driver's seat, immediately approaches to investigate. Sebastian quickly shuts the door on Liliana. After trying countless keys, Sebastian finally finds the right one and starts the bus. By the time the others are awakened and attempt to stop him, it's too late. Sebastian drives the bus out of the camp. Sebastian is the first to climb out. But when he opens his eyes, nothing happens. But the next person isn't so lucky. A dazed man looks behind and sees leaves defying physics, rising into the air. His eyes change instantly, and uncontrollably, he grabs a piece of glass and slits his own throat. As a burst of golden light flashes, the man dies on the spot. Then, Liliana crawls out. She's smart and keeps her eyes closed, trying to crawl back to camp. But Sebastian won't give her that chance. He forcibly opens Liliana's eyes. After a brief struggle, Liliana calms down and then happily walks towards the bus wheels. Next, a young man walks straight to the fuel tank and lights a lighter. With a loud explosion, the camp's inhabitants are finally cleared out by Sebastian. It turns out Sebastian is one of those controlled by the mysterious force, and Lazaro becomes the sole survivor. At this moment, Sebastian's daughter appears. Nos has salvado, papá. ¿Estarán bien? Claro. Sus almas son libres. Sebastian believes that only by doing this can people be reborn, free from the pain of fear, and when he saves a certain number of souls, he will reunite with his wife. This is the only thing keeping him going in this apocalyptic world. So what exactly happened to his wife? It all started nine months ago. Sebastian was the owner of a power supply company. At the peak of his career when he received a strange phone call, he was told several workers had fallen from the wind turbines. And according to witnesses, they jumped on their own. Confused, Sebastian rushes back to the headquarters only to find all his employees panicked. Then he receives a call from his wife, telling him to turn on the TV and watch the news. In just a few hours, tens of thousands of people have mysteriously died. Sebastian realized the severity of the situation. His wife urged him to quickly pick up their daughter Anna. As soon as he finished speaking, an employee was found hanging dead in front of his office door. Sebastian hurried to pick up his daughter, but just as he was about to get into the car, Sebastian had no choice but to follow the crowd into the subway, thinking he would finally be safe among so many people. However, a horrific scene then unfolded. A cup slowly slid over the sole of his foot and fell into the tunnel. The unsuspecting crowd was anxiously waiting for the subway. Suddenly, 
A sinister wind blew, and the pebbles on the ground began to defy physics. Even the recently fallen paper cup lifted off the ground. Seeing the paper cup floating in the air, Sebastian realized something was wrong and turned to flee the subway station. However, the people around him, as if mad, rushed towards the tunnel without regard for their lives. Just as the subway was about to arrive, the crowd didn't dodge or hide. Thankfully, Sebastian pushed against the crowd and managed to save his life. Sebastian quickly ran onto the street. The once bustling city was now chaotic, people running around like headless flies. Arriving at the school, Sebastian immediately grabbed his daughter and ran towards the exit. But just as they reached the door, an explosion occurred. In the panic, they took refuge in a church where a priest suddenly stopped them. The priest, muttering to himself about waiting for this day for a long time, claimed it was a revelation from God. After a spiel, the priest turned and walked outside. Sebastian then ran home with his daughter, his wife. Seeing them return, hurriedly asked about their condition. The family of three was finally reunited. If nothing else, <laughs> after his wife's death, the father and daughter hid in their home. But on the daughter's birthday, a group of uninvited guests suddenly knocked on their door. Sebastian tried to block the door, but the intruders broke in, and they were taken by Esteban to the rooftop. At this point, Esteban's mind was bewitched by the mysterious force, seeing them afraid to witness the miracle. Esteban forcibly opened Anna's eyes. After a brief struggle, Anna's pupils changed, and she calmly walked forward. <laughs> The more Sebastian thought about it, the angrier he got. He turned to avenge his daughter, but then he too saw the creature, and his clenched fists gradually loosened, his pupils began changing colors. At this moment, Anna miraculously returned to his side. Unbeknownst to him, this was all a ploy by the creatures, they needed such obsessed individuals as messengers. The bridge for both sides was this resurrected daughter who constantly fed Sebastian evil thoughts. Now. Sebastian believed that death was the only salvation for humanity. Watching their souls ascend, Sebastian was filled with envy. Soon, Sebastian has his sights set on another group of survivors. Seeing them enter a pharmacy, Sebastian used his advantage of sight and approached the woman, just as he was about to succeed. A dog suddenly tackled him. The dog's owner rushed over to calm it. However, just then, a sinister wind passed, and the experienced few knew the creature had arrived. They had to leave immediately. Sebastian quickly said he knew where to find a generator and hoped they could take him along. This trick worked again, and he blended into the group of survivors. Later, the dog led everyone back to the camp. Sebastian discovered that their biggest reliance was the dog, so he secretly cut a slit in the dog's leash at night. The next day, as the squad set off, Anna appeared out of nowhere and told Sebastian it was time to redeem them. Sebastian left the group, took off his blindfold, and began to enjoy everything before him. Just then, a violent wind arose, and the creature attacked again. This time, everyone heard the call of their loved ones in their ears. The dog broke free from its leash and disappeared. Without the dog, they would be helpless here. Sophia, hearing her mother's call, was about to take off her blindfold when her teammates stopped her in time. Rafa, however, wasn't so lucky. He thought he heard the dog's cry of distress and quickly removed his blindfold but all he saw were leaves on the ground. By then, it was too late for regrets. Rafa plunged headfirst into a nearby taxi. Companions called out Rafa's name but dared not remove their blindfolds to rescue him. Sebastian gave Sofia Anna's necklace, hoping it would bring her good luck. But no sooner had he turned around than the illusion of his daughter found Sebastian, questioning why he gave her necklace to someone else. Sebastian was left speechless. Anna then tells him to save them so that the family can be reunited. Soon, Sebastian found an opportunity. Someone in the team suddenly developed a fever and needed antibiotics to cool down. Or they wouldn't last long. They found an open room after searching and, with blindfolds on, began to fumble inside. Sebastian, however, went straight to the restaurant. Looking at the window in front of him, he had an idea. Sebastian, encontré latas de sardinas. ¿Cuarto está seguro? Sí. Está todo cerrado. But the moment the man removed his blindfold, his pupils changed color, and before losing control, he angrily looked towards Sebastian. The man then grabbed a knife and started stabbing himself. At this moment, 
Sebastian's humanity was finally awakened, another teammate, hearing the commotion, arrived just as an evil wind started swirling throughout the room. Anna urged her father to quickly remove her blindfold, but the conscious Sebastian naturally wouldn't be dominated again, he quickly left the place with his teammate. Sebastian then led the remaining survivors out of the building, they needed to find a human refugee group, but soon, a young man appeared in front of them, knowing they were open-eyed people, Sebastian quickly led his teammates to escape. Roberto, who was ill, couldn't escape his fate, and his wife turned back to accompany her husband on his last journey. Although it was only a short few moments, it surpassed countless fleeting loves of the present. Sebastian then entered a building, Claire removed her blindfold and berated him for abandoning them. She angrily snatched Sebastian's blindfold and discovered a shocking secret, Sebastian's blindfold was transparent. In other words, everything their squad had gone through was because of this man in front of them. Claire ran away with Sophia. Then, Anna came to delude Sebastian again, urging him to redeem their souls so that the family could reunite. Sebastian immediately chased after them, catching Sophia with his sight advantage. Claire accidentally fell from the rooftop but was caught by the scaffolding. Hearing the screams, Sophia was terrified. Sebastian gently consoled her, assuring her it would all be over soon. However, just as Sebastian was about to remove Sophia's blindfold, he saw the pendant he gave her and suddenly realized his mistake. He hugged Sophia tightly and then woke Claire on the scaffolding. After some persuasion, he finally made them trust him again. Sebastian stated the only way to leave the city now was through the cable car ropeway. Just then, a loud noise came from downstairs, Esteban and his men had followed them. They quickly descended the external staircase, got into a car, and fled. Esteban and his men followed the noise and gave chase. Sebastian sped towards the direction of the cable car, determined to atone for his sins by getting them out of the city. The car sped along, and with a beautiful drift, it perfectly blocked the gate. After getting out, he stuffed cloth into the fuel tank and lit it with a lighter, then led them inside. When Esteban's men arrived, Sebastian told them to climb the stairs to board the cable car while he stayed behind to ensure Esteban couldn't follow, also to atone for his past mistakes. Time waited for no one, they split up. Claire and Sophia reached the rooftop but suddenly encountered a flock of birds attacking them. Obviously the creature's doing. Claire maintained her resolve and jumped into the cable car at the last moment. Below. Sebastian's fight was fierce and brutal, he fought to the death with Esteban, sacrificing his brief life to send Claire and Sophia away. Meanwhile, the cable car finally reached its destination. A few soldiers confirmed they weren't infected and took them to a large refugee shelter hastily established by humans. However, no one noticed that the animals in the shelter became unusually agitated after the arrival of the cable car. 